In Kanban guide, we define Kanban. We bring Kanban down to the minimal aspects and we hope you really find that useful. In doing so, we made a lot of things optional. Um, one of the things that's optional on a deficient workflow is a backlog. You don't actually have to have a backlog on a deficient workflow. And we talked about that in a previous episode. But Funnel is another optional container, if you like, another piece of your workflow that you can have. And if you did have a backlog, a funnel might be a backlog for a backlog. So can be useful in situations where maybe you've got a roadmap and maybe you're kind of doing something like now, next, later. So now would be whatever's in progress. Next might be what's in the backlog if you have a backlog. And later might be what is uh, after whatever's in the backlog something like that. Um, some people might call it a hopper, pool of ideas, uh, wh whatever you want to call it is absolutely fine. The general intent behind Funnel is that it's for items that we haven't really considered properly yet. People have submitted some ideas, they're in the funnel, but we don't know if they're going to end up in the backlog yet. So if you did have the backlog, if you did have some kind of prioritization, that's something you can do. That said, even if you do have a backlog in Kanban, the backlog is not ordered necessarily. So this whole notion of sequencing a backlog is something that's more a thing for Scrum than Kanban. It's not something that we necessarily do in Kanban. So Funnel is another thing that you can have in Kanban. It's an optional item and you can read more about it in the definitions file for Kanban guide at kanbanguides.org. Thank you.